Hello, my name is Kelly Cannon, and this is the Salt Lake Tribune Daily Buzz, a video series where we bring you the important story of the day and why it matters to you. Now, using UTA public transit is a great way to get around Salt Lake City and the surrounding valley, but you need to keep your eye on the clock. Otherwise, your night is going to turn into a Cinderella type situation. That's because UTA only offers its services between 4 a.m. in the morning and 1 a.m. at night. And this is very dependent on on the type of transportation that you'll be using. For instance, tracks usually stops running between 11 p.m. and midnight, while some bus routes do extend out until 1 a.m. Now, why doesn't UTA offer more rides after 1 a.m.? Basically, they say there just isn't enough ridership to justify the cost. Uh, they have, but that doesn't mean that they haven't experimented with these types of things in the past. For instance, in the early 2000s, there was a pilot program that did extend rides out past 1 a.m., but it was cut due to a lack of demand. In the summer of 2021, there was also a, a pilot program for an on-demand rideshare program where people could get transportation between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m., now, during that 45-day span, that 588 people did take advantage of this, and they were able to take those rides for only $2.50 each. And then just this past weekend, they, uh, UTA did extend their track services because of the NBA All-Star Games. This included the Green Line running 24 hours and Front Runner running on Sunday. But this is a strictly one-time thing. Extending the services of tracks and Front Runner is incredibly expensive and incredibly difficult, according to the UTA. So what if we want UTA to start extending its offerings into the early morning hours? Basically, there has to be proof that the ridership is even there. People need to start using UTA at night or early in the morning and then thereby proving that more people are going to be using it. Now, officials at UTA say this type of thing might happen organically if the Valley starts offering more positions at the graveyard level or late night level, and then people use UTA to get to those positions. But the UTA so far is just going to monitor ridership. That way they can know where the demand is and when the demand is. But we want to hear from you guys. Do you guys use UTA a lot? Do you find it convenient? Do you find it inconvenient? Uh, over the weekend on Twitter, I did see a lot of people praising UTA for having Front Runner run on a Sunday. They want to see that happen more often. If Front Runner were to start running on Sundays, would you guys take advantage of it? Be sure to comment below or you can tweet us at SLTrib. Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you want these videos as soon as they launch, be sure that you are subscribed below. Thank you.